Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a soft and glowy look for you guys. Very spring appropriate, very special occasion appropriate. So lately weddings have been on my mind, lots of weddings this spring season, and I am a part of my friend's wedding this upcoming weekend. I'm her bridesmaid and I'm also doing her makeup. So I actually was thinking about what would be a good look for any special occasion for prom, formal, a date, anything. And I don't have any lashes on because this could clearly be worn as an everyday look too. It's really wearable. I love it. I wore it the other day and I thought I have to recreate this. If you do want to make it more dramatic, of course, feel free to pop on some liner and lashes. That'll do it. It'll be gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's just get right into it. All right, let's begin. So first I'm going to prep my skin. I'm going to use two different primers. This is actually a cream, but I like it to just hydrate the drier parts of my face, which is usually on the sides and a little bit on the nose. So I'm just kind of letting that sink in for a bit. And then on my T-zone and where I have enlarged pores, I'm going to be applying this pore minimizing primer from Smashbox. It does a pretty good job at blurring out the pores, as you can tell, but I actually really like it for oil control. I'm a fan. A little bit of this really does go a long way, but I just like to do it in two sections, so I just get enough spread evenly throughout. Now that our skin is ready to go, let's go in with the foundation. I actually almost forgot how much I like this foundation. It's the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. I highly recommend this one for oily skin people. I'm pretty oily. So a little bit of this really does go a long way too. So I'm just kind of lightly building it up. I tend to like to start by applying some in the center and then just spreading it out to the rest of my face. And you can always just stipple on a little bit more in the areas that you need more coverage. And then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Blur Concealer and highlighting and brightening my face with it. Definitely gotta cover up those under eye circles, especially with the little amount of sleep I've been getting lately. I feel like it works like magic. So I'm just blending that in and making sure that there are no strange lines. <laughs> All right guys, now this is going to sound crazy, but I'm not gonna set my whole face with powder because that Revlon foundation seriously looks better as the oil seeps through throughout the day. It just makes your skin look even better. So I'm just setting over where I applied my concealer with the Laura Mercier translucent powder and that's it. All right, on to the brows. So I'm gonna be using this It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. It's a pretty good color. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying the shade. I find that as long as I use a light hand and I just fill in the sparse areas, this pencil is quite perfect for that. I only wish that the, the little nib was a bit, you know, like sharper and more defined. It's kind of stubby, but it, it does a trick and I'm a fan of it, so I'm just kind of filling in the sparse areas and outlining the bottom and top portion just a bit, just very lightly, and then just brushing that out. And then just to kind of lengthen my brow from the inside, I also like to fill it in very, very lightly. And then I'm gonna be using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the light to medium shade, just to actually lighten my brow hairs. But if you want to look like you have more brow hair, definitely use the darker shade. All right, time for the eye makeup. So first we're going to prime our lids just using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, cheap, Awesome, applying that onto the upper lid and also underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna be taking these Maybelline Color Tattoo Crayons in two different shades, starting with this rich chocolatey shade and just applying it to the outer corner and inner corners of my eyes. Don't worry about this being neat and perfect. We are going to blend it out with our finger as we are now, just to soften up the edges. And there are going to be powdered eyeshadows applied over this. So once again, don't worry about this being neat and perfect. And then with the gold shade, I'm just going to apply that onto the center once again, smoothing out the edges, but we do want the center of the lid to be as vibrant as possible, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more so it's nice and bright. And then I pulled out my old sleek palette, which I love, and I'm gonna go into this gold shade. It looks pink, it just has a slight pink flash to it, but I'm just gonna apply this over the center of the lid where we applied that gold crayon. You can use any light gold shadow here, it'll work perfectly. And then I'm gonna go into these peachy shades using a tapered blending brush, and I'm just blending that on into my crease. You know what, I feel like more palettes should have peach shades. It really helps brighten up the eyes, and it's so perfect for spring. I had quite a bit loaded up on my brush, so I'm just gonna wipe off the remainder and then also go into the tan shade just to tone down the peach a little bit. And still using the same brush, I'm going to be going into these darker shades, but not black. I don't want it to be too dark and then just blend that into the outer corners and then with whatever's left on the brush, apply that onto the inner corners. So I'm keeping it pretty soft for now and then later on deciding if I want to deepen it up or not. 
And then I'm gonna use a fluffy blending brush and go into that tan, use it pretty much as a transition shade just to blow the color out a little bit more. And I'm just doing some touch-ups here. I'm just applying a little bit more of the gold shade on the center to brighten it up. And then going back in with that color tattoo crayon in the gold shade, I'm applying that onto the lower center area of the eye and then just applying the light shadow over that as well. And then with a dark brown pencil or a liner, I'm just going ahead and applying a really thin line on my upper lash line, a little bit on that inner corner waterline, so we're not going all the way across, and then underneath the lash line on the outer corner and making sure to not go over too much of the gold. And then I'm just going to smudge that out a little bit and then take this highlight shade, it's a matte color, and then just apply that underneath my brows. And then lastly for the eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes, just curl them up real nice first. And then I'm going to take my Milani Liquid Eye Pencil in black, and I'm just going to rim my tight line with it. It actually helps your lash line look a little bit darker without kind of covering it in a lot of black. And it also makes your lashes look thicker and longer. So I'm a fan of doing this. And then I'm just applying my waterproof mascara onto my top lashes. I decided to just really apply quite a few coats and thicken it up as much as possible since we weren't doing any lashes today. And then for my lower lashes, I'm using this It Cosmetics Tight Line. Look at how tiny this brush is. So I'm just really loving the size of the brush. I feel like it makes it easier and less, I guess like overwhelming to apply mascara to the bottom lashes. All right, onto the final stretch. I'm excited, are you guys? So I'm gonna go into this Maybelline palette and use the contour shade to contour my face with. So I'm just kind of sucking. I don't usually suck in my face, but I'm just showing that you guys could do that if that makes it easier for you. And I'm just making sure to blend that in nicely. I'm going along my jawline as well, a bit around the contours of my forehead, and I'm also going to lightly contour my nose. Now onto one of my favorite parts, the highlight. I'm just so obsessed with the highlight in this palette and I'm just using this NYX brush. I kind of like really loaded it on just to make sure you guys could see it. But yeah, you can totally see it. It is it beautiful, it's shimmering. I'm just applying that onto the higher planes of my cheeks, just a little bit down my nose. And I'm also going to use my finger to apply some on my cupid's bow. And then I'm taking this NYX blush, which is actually quite pigmented, so I applied very little. You could always tap some off on the back of your hand if you don't want it to come on too strong. I think any like soft colored lips would look really nice with this, and I thought that looked really nice. I would definitely apply gloss over it if I was gonna keep it that light, but then I decided I wanted it to be just a little bit deeper, and I was really feeling this Maybelline shade. So you get a pretty good idea of how it looks just nice and soft. I decided to just deepen it up a little bit more just so you guys could see how that looks. And it really is just because sometimes I don't know how to stop. So just some more finishing touches and we are done. And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you have any special occasions you're going to be attending soon and if you're going to be trying out this look. Definitely share with me if you do, as always, and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye!